Good day everyone. We will configure always on availability group with automatic seeding and use TSQL query to monitor it. This video will be handy for someone who is trying to add a huge database onto always on availability group using automatic seeding and wondering if added database will ever complete seeding. Let's get started. We'll be using this particular environment for this video. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 that is hosted in East US region or synchronous replica. JBS AG3 that is hosted in Korea Central region is an asynchronous replica. We have an always on availability group uh, configured called JBS AG and the listener uh, that is configured is JBS APP. So we don't have any database added to this particular availability group. So we will be adding it and we'll be like checking what is um, going to happen when we select this automatic seeding method. Let's go to uh, the primary replica, which is uh, JVS AG1. And then let's go to um, uh, the SQL Server Management Studio. So if we look at um, uh, JBS AG1, which is our primary replica right now, we have this availability group configured, but uh, if you look at it, we don't have any databases added to it. So we have um, uh, this, um, uh, as far as if you look at the availability replicas, uh, we are able to see that uh, we have three replicas, JVS AG1, JVS AG2, and JVS AG3. So now what we are going to do, we are going to add this database called uh, Arc Reactor into this availability group using automatic seeding and then we will see like uh, how to monitor its progress and things like that. Let's uh, right click on availability databases and then click on add database. Let's uh, click on next. I'm just going to add arc reactor here. So I will select that database and then click on next. And then I will connect to the available secondary replicas. In this case, JVS AG2 and JVS AG3. Let's click on next. So here I'm going to select this option called automatic seeding. SQL Server automatically creates database for every selected secondary replica. Automatic seeding requires that data and log file paths are same on every SQL Server instance participating in the availability group. So this is something very critical. So for example, if you have uh, uh, your data file in uh, D drive and then your uh, log file in E drive, then you need to ensure that all the replicas are also having the same uh, drive and also the folder location where the MDF and LDF file is uh, placed in the primary replica for your seeding to uh, work. So in my case, I have that. So let's click on next and then let's look for um, the validation to complete. So if we see here, uh, what I'm seeing here is like um, um, the validation fails for uh, uh, two things. The first one is check if uh, the selected database already exists on the secondary instance that hosts that hosts the secondary, okay, let me maximize this. So that hosts uh, secondary replica JBS AG3. So if we see here, huh, it basically tells like this database already exists on JBS AG3. So uh, if the database and the database file is present in JBS AG3, that's the error that we are getting. Let's look at that and then see if the database is there. Let's look at JBS AG2 as well. We don't have the database JBS AG2, so that is good. That is the reason we do not get any failures relating to JBS AG2. But if you look at JBS AG3, we are able to see that uh, the database is in restoring mode. Maybe that was uh, uh, left uh, during the previous operation, but I just left it uh, just to make sure we get an error here and I can show that in the video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this particular database. Let me remove that. So now what I'll do is like I will refresh the validation and see what happens. Okay, so let's refresh it. Let's do the rerun validation. So this time after deleting the database, everything seems to be green. So let's click on next. And then uh, uh, everything seems okay. So I'm going to click on finish here. So, um, so it is just completed. We did not uh, have any issues. It is uh, all added. So if you see here, adding database to availability group JBS AG is success. So we don't have any problem yeah. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh these instance and then see if the database is there and also check the availability group. 
let's look at the dashboard. If I look at the dashboard, I'm basically getting um, um, green in the primary replica JBS AG1 because we know the database is already there. JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 is basically showing uh, not synchronizing and warning. And we know that because it's a uh, uh, 20 GB database, it's going to take some time for uh, seeding the database. JVS AG1 and AG2 is like on the uh, same region, East US, but JVS AG3 is in Korea Central. So there is a latency between uh, um, JVS AG1 and JVS AG3. So the seeding is going to take some more time in JVS AG3. But now the question is like, how do we know like uh, what is going on as far well as the seeding is concerned? Uh, uh, we can't wait for it. But what happens in case if it fails somewhere at the middle and we just can't uh, keep waiting? And also we need to understand if something is happening or not, just to make sure like we are not wasting the time. So now let's refresh JBS AG2 and also JBS AG3. And uh, we will um, see if uh, there is any um, uh, thing that is uh, created because we know like it was empty before and now we should be seeing um, uh, 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 Arc reactor database um, uh, Restoring and yes, we can see that in JBS AG2. Let's do the same thing in JBS AG3 as well So we are able to see that the database is getting restored So now what I'm going to do I'm going to use a TSQL query and then uh, check uh, what is um, uh, the status of what is uh, uh, happening as far as the seeding is concerned. So I'm going to uh, um, 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 run this TSQL query, which uses the DMV sys.dm underscore HADR underscore automatic seeding, uh, sys availability, um, uh, sys.availability underscore databases underscore cluster, and then sys.availability underscore groups. I'm basically joining these three DMVs, and then I'm getting the information like start time, completion time, um, and the AG details and in case there is an any error, then uh, we will be able to see that from this particular uh, TSQL query. So right now what I'm seeing is like we have started around 12.30. So time now is 12.33. Uh, so it is not yet completed. So that's the reason we are seeing a null in completion time. Uh, JBS AG is the um, uh, availability group name here. And we are seeing two lines here yeah, because uh, we have two replicas, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. That we can see here at least like uh, um, we can see um, um, a GUID information which is related to uh, AG underscore remote replica ID. Uh, so let's put a comma here. And then if you run this, you will be able to see that you have this one AG underscore uh, uh, remote underscore replica ID. Uh, so uh, it is currently seeding. Yeah, the current state is seeding and uh, um, We don't see any error. So that's good that uh, it is performing well. Yeah, and the second um, um, uh, Query that I'm going to use to check the information is uh, sys.tm underscore uh, HADR underscore automatic seeding uh, This uh, gives us like uh, the information uh, like over the start time completion time and then the current state and in case if there is a failure then it gives the failure state and uh, failure state description so if we see here uh, so it basically contains all the uh, um, um, operations as receding is concerned so today is um, uh, 14 may and let's do an order by start time descending and let's run it. And if you see here, uh, again, uh, we have two replicas, so it is uh, still showing as seeding. So, um, uh, so basically, like in case there is an error, for example, if you see here, uh, uh, we had an, um, uh, a failure before uh, that is like uh, 16th April. Uh, but right now it is basically seeding. So let's give it some more time. At least we know that seeding is actually happening right now. Uh, so let's give it some more time and then we will uh, see um, what information that we will get uh, when uh, this one completes or in case it errors out. I'm going to remove this uh, uh, AG remote replica ID. It's kind of it's a GUID, so it's not helping me by any way. So I'm just going to remove that. So it is currently seeding. So let's wait for some more time and then see what happens. Okay, so uh, let's execute it one more time and uh, 
uh, if you see here it basically tells like it is completed on both the ends and if you see here uh, uh, it started around 12 30 and then it completed around 12 35 so uh, if you see here uh, this is mostly jbs ag2 because it completed around 12 35 and this one is jbs ag3 since it is placed in korea central it has taken like another three more minutes and now if you see here the seeding is completed and by this way you will be able to understand if um, seeding is actually progressing if there are any errors uh, as far as the seeding is concerned let's go to the availability group dashboard and if you see here the database is added um, onto the availability group jbsag and uh, it is available right now for us to use it and now if you look at it here let's refresh uh, jbsag2 and then if you see here it is in synchronized and if we refresh it in JBS AG3, we should be seeing it in synchronizing. Yes, we have it in synchronizing. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.